up yesterday this morning. That's the way it works. There you go, sir. All right, so forgive me. I'm. I haven't played a Double Dragon title since the NES. And the last one, last side scrolling beat em up I played was uh, Scott Pilgrim. So okay. So one thing about since you, you know played Double Dragon on the NES, this one's two players. The way it's intended to be. Yeah. The arcade was two players. The NES one. I know a lot of people took it home and they were like. What the hell? I can't that is this crap. Yeah. This is going to allow us for new controllers. So, this is two players, co-op, over Xbox Live, or local play, or PlayStation Network, if you play the check one. So we can do it on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. And it's a retelling of the story using all elements from the whole Double Dragon franchise. Okay. There's five games, nobody knows. And then, you know, there's also the little spin-offs and brothers, like Renegade, Every City Ransom, part of the whole storyline. So the NES one was started like the arcade one. They added a lot more stages on the NES one. We actually added a lot more stages also. There's 10 stages in total with five areas. So there's a street, there's a forest, there's also um, an Asian theme. Go to space in this one. Cause why not? The carrier off. And then oh shit. Yep. Serious business. And all you have to do is press start to jump in. And you press start to jump out if you want. Billy and Jimmy make their reappearance. Every time a character is introduced on screen, whether it be a classic or a new character, a little flash will come up and tell you little something about them so one thing we, we have we got punch we got jump we got kick we also have a grab once the character's stunned and hunched over you can grab them. or if I uppercut the person and they're coming down you can grab them and toss them so you can juggle them All right. and even if you toss someone to me that person you can punch okay, so there I go juggling we also have an evade, and if done at the right time, you get a power-up for it. Oh. Oh, I just threw the bat away. Oh, okay. Got a little baseball bat. There we go. And the evade is done with the left trigger. And if you attack with the evade, punch will do a sweep. And Kick does a flying knee, reminiscent of Double Dragon 2, actually. And I am doing terrible. No problem. I can <laughs> help you off. We have a whole 80s retro feel going with this. I saw, the, right I saw the power glove. I thought that was great. There's our tape deck there. These tape decks that you collect will bring up superpowers that we have in the game. We have a fireball for the demo right now. And this is how you unlock them. The classic elbow will be considered one of the superpowers. There's Linda with her whip. You can also even ground pound them. Press down and punch, and you can punch them in the ground. One feature I like about the whip is, you see the whole twirl? That whole twirl will hit someone. So it hit them in front, behind, and even if they're on the ground and it whips down on them, it hits them. It's a nice AOE. We got breakable environments. So you see she's down on the ground? The spanker. Oh, she just got up. One thing we did change though, are the weapons are not forever. Classic double dragon, you can carry that weapon forever and ever and ever. Awesome. Left to bash B and uh, rotate this one. There, there we you go. go. See how you toss them towards me 
and I was able to punch him. So there's juggling that can be done. Now with Double Dragon, this is not co-op, this is bro-op. We also introduced the high five feature using the right stick. Pressing up will split our life so we could become equal. Pressing left will, I probably hit right. Now we got a power boost, so we can do double damage for a short period of time. <laughs> and if you hit right, chest bump, area of effect, slams the guys down so we can regroup. And if you press up, for example, that you want a life share, and I want to be a jerk, I psych you out and they take a little bit of help. Now if we both press down, we psych each other out and we both <laughs> take damage for hitting our heads. Now whoever initiates the high five, it'll do. So if you press up and I press right, it'll do the life split because you initiate it. Oh, the, okay. only, the only time is with fake out. Oh, okay. You know, I can fake out at any time. And you can fake out at any time. We have breakable environments and this is like where we'll get soda. Soda will replenish our health. And battery recharges our superpowers. You're gonna punch with that. So you punch into the lock, do it right over like here, stand it a little bit down, and, but not in front of it. Go. We gotta work on the little collision there. Over here, like where I'm standing at. Go ahead, try it here. Okay. There we go. And this will unlock tape decks, money. The cash being used is for your special powers, they can be upgraded. So you start off with a weak fireball, a weak elbow, or the weak dragon grenade, and you upgrade it. Okay. The tape decks also have a stance system. And the stance system is going to be like offensive stance, defensive stance, above all. Um, special power, power stance. So there's going to be different stances that makes your one of the Dragon Brothers more powerful in one way or another. So each uh, tape deck has an A and B side to it. Okay. You wanna check out one of the space stages? This one's very reminiscent of Renegade. Renegade had a stage like this. And um, they told me that NES Double Dragon did too. Got any questions? Not so far. I just have. Oh, I forgot about the run. So the run is right trigger, and you can shoulder block, or you can side uh, do a slide sweep. There's also a little combo system, punch, punch, kick, or kick, 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 and you can do your spinning round. Okay. Or the John Claw Van Damme helicopter kick. This here is at the end of the stage, you can get a bonus. You can keep juggling this and collecting more and more bonus. Oh. Um, I've juggled it, that a tape deck actually comes out, so you guys can you know, keep juggling for Bonuses and power ups. Okay. That's the end of the first stage. I'll show you the airlock stage. Uh, if you don't mind. Alright. We also have uh, the soundtrack has been remixed. So, it's modernized, and then we also have throwback music that has an 80s feel. Okay. The lead designer, Sean Velasco, was influenced pretty much by Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, crap. Oh. Okay, now it's These guys you could grab and just fall out. Whoa. Yeah. And then you can also grab them. If they're standing right by each other, you can grab them. No, 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 no. 
you can grab them and smash them. Also, if you stun someone, two people, and they're they're both stunned, they're right by each other, grab them and bash them. Oh, okay. I was actually in that situation. Here you go. Let's play it out loud. Teamwork. It's all about the bro off. I'm running into doing it. You want to come around? Basically the other way. I'll let you play. Alright. I have a bug in there. You gotta like, yeah. If you fall down the cliff while running, yeah, it just continues running. You get a cattle prod. There's different types of weapons. See? I swung her away and you, you were able to get her. So what's the release date? It's actually in this summer. Oh really? It's for the summer arcade? Uh, no, we didn't make Summer Arcade. Oh, okay. Summer Arcade's gonna be out pretty soon, actually. But, um, we'll be out during that time period. Oh, okay. 